Well, Jacqueline, Larry Krasner says it means his second term is starting right now. And while the city is heavily Democratic, he still does have a general election ahead. That primary, though, where the latest numbers have him up by 30 points, tells us his message of reform is something voters are getting behind. It's an enormous mandate. Larry Krasner, after a victory address for a re-election bid that put more than just his job on the line. Our movement, movement was re-elected tonight mm -hmm. to that additional four and a half years by black and brown people and their equality-minded allies. Krasner came into office four years ago promising change as a progressive reformer. His win in the Democratic primary this time confirming the power of progressive activists in the city. Who stuck by him as his opponent, Carlos Vega, and the police union blamed him for the city's gun violence. You know, I think we need to understand that the leadership of the Democratic Party is in this room. Now, the final test for Krasner is Chuck Peruto, who's put up campaign posters at his law office. My administration will be a combination of Mr. Krasner's and the toughest DA on the planet. Peruto, a longtime defense attorney, is running as a Republican in a city dominated by Democrats. Some Republicans even switched parties, though, to be able to vote for Carlos in the primary, and that wasn't enough. So, you know, who's going to come out and vote for you who didn't come out for Carlos? Republicans, Vega Democrats, and the people that I've helped over 40 years. Together, we're going to pull this off. Peruto says gun violence is his primary focus and reason for getting in the race. But the numbers from Tuesday's election show how beating Krasner on that argument did not work for Vega. On the left, the results show where Krasner did well in light blue, Vega in dark blue. Compare that with the map of city shootings from this year on the right, and you see many of the neighborhood's hardest hit landed in Krasner's column. To city council today, Krasner made the case for next year's budget, which includes a push to divert more juvenile cases and offer more social services. We asked Peruto how he would handle kids accused of crimes. Many juveniles deserve a second chance. They made a mistake. They don't need to have a record. But guns and gun violence especially pertain to 16 to 19-year-old juveniles. The public needs to be educated that these are some of the most violent criminals we have on the street because they don't even appreciate the consequences of their acts. Would you use diversionary programs for some of them? I would use diversionary programs for anything but guns and gun violence. And we'll hear more from Peruto and Krasner about their plans over the next few months heading toward November. Republicans do have a steep climb in citywide elections, though they are outnumbered by Democrats 7 to 1. I'm Lauren Make, NBC 10 News. Jacqueline? Lauren, thank you.